Oh, from you your mean... announcement. Oh, I, See, it's not the live you are doing. Okay, now I'm doing it. Thank you for mentioning it. I thought I was live. Oh. Thank God that you mentioned it because now we are finally live. Good, it's done. Now we are live. Okay. Cool. Oh, all right, all right. Now let's get back to correcting my formation. I am switching out Castaro, and man, he was disappointing me a lot. I'm not sure why. I thought the gear I had on him was good enough, but he couldn't keep up with my, let's say, Shadow. Shadow and mm. Undying were dealing lots of damage, and Castaro couldn't. What, what is happening with Castaro, Francis? Mm, it's the focus damage, but like, in general, it's not that good. Is it because the 1.0 quilted armor with focus protection is hardcore countering it, or why? No, it's just the, the start himself. Then, you, if you fight a white council, or like Gandalf the White, which mm. is the meta, you, 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 it, it, it hurts too much. It hurts too much, everyone almost. Like, maybe the one that can be safe, uh, safe, it's not safe, it will be kind of can work but also don't not work it's a uh, maxed uh, color in focus damage then you have uh, in terms of consistency that i've uh, i have uh, noticed it's a uh, witching for example you know, a, a stone witching okay not a average one mm. uh, will will do the nice damage like uh, ace battles when level 50 okay in the end game level 50 against level 50 so it's battles that last like 10 rounds you can go like 70k 80k damage per fight with witching mm. which is already okay you know and uh, the star it will depend if you fight a white council he will do maybe less than that he will do more if it's like uh, no witch, uh, no no gun of the white in front you can go to 100 something but it's 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 very really rare Mm. Like on evil side, for them, Shadow and Lurch will do better. Overall, Shadow, Lurch, if you can have the uh, unique, Lurch will uh, be good. By the way, I because watching, a, I watching a, uh, a live stream because I am adjusting the gear just like you mentioned. Would you like to control it if I'm doing it right? So the gear... Oh, oh it, I will need to chill. Yeah. The gear I had on my Witch King, I am passing over to Sauron because of the initiative, the yada yada yada. Yeah. He's getting that. And then I will just swap the Kestaro gear to my mm -hmm. Witch King because he too is capable of dealing focus damage. Was it? Mm -hmm. Oops, that, that's. Yeah, you have Sauron? Right, because he needs the initiative, right? The Signet of the Barrows. Mm, yeah. Yeah. What? For who? The accessory, I mean. Yeah. But that would ruin my what? my um, set bonus. No, 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 no. You can just put like for for what you have that I saw because I I don't see what you are doing now. But you just switch the equipment from the witching to Thoron, yeah. and the one in the Staro to witching. Yeah. Um, do you see my Sauron right now with the gear I have given to him on the live stream? Uh, it, it will show up uh, in a second, I guess. There is a little lag, but you will see it eventually. Mm -hmm. And I have a set bonus called Fortitude. Physical damage received by the commander's formation minus 10%. I have it right uh, now. Mm -hmm. I, I could switch one item, which is the accessory. It's Lothlorien Bell. I could give the Signet of the Barrows because it has the initiative. Would that be a good mm. idea or let's just stay with the Fortitude oh, special effect? No, just like that, like that. Okay, use it like that. Yeah, because the thing is, you will lose Fortitude that for me, for example, it's one of the best uh, set effect. Mm. So you stay with it um, yeah. because, because the the initiative you will gain no it's not enough anyway you know uh, basically if you fight any whales with the current um, initiative you have in your sauron mm. even if you are just uh, two or three it won't make the difference you will always be slower however yeah. you have the witching r5 that can maybe help you uh, against some 
against some Gandalf the White that don't have initiative. Yeah. Um, would you like to have a look at my Witch King skills? Because right now I was PvEing with him like this, like pure damage, focus damage. And you yeah. just mentioned the R5. Should I yeah. drop five points from Lord of the Nazgul and invest it into R5? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, you need five. You need five points in PvP at least. In PvP, you need five points there because it's w why we are playing Witch King. Because of the Which strong can... stun, right? He is the king of stun. The king of. And focus damage. He has focus damage, stun, and debuffs. Yes. The debuffs and stuns yes. are the most important ones. Exactly, exactly. Like he's, he's, he's kind of um, focus damage support. You know, he's he's more. He's not completely damage dealer. Yeah, I agree. You know, and. Uh, for for example, I have seen undying. You have people that is undying. There is two ways to use him. You can use this full damage dealer commander, which he do well also like a witch king, but yeah. he's on physical damage. Um, but he don't have the support that witch king give in the same time, because witch king have the the crowd control, which helps in fight uh, eventually, depending on the RNG. And also the R5, which we apply right away in the pre-battle phase. Mm -hmm. And while we are talking, let me also send my new formation to the front line, or else I'm just wasting precious uh, march time. Um, yeah, I am yeah, you skilling. See, you saw, you saw the game, just I, I am <laughs> skilling the Witch King right now. I've invested five points into the Lord of the Nazgul, so I have the 50% stun chance right now. Um, the rest of my points I have, like I should I max out R3 or first R5? Mm, no, you don't max the R5 because you are a low, you, uh, your Witch King is low respect, so it's not worth going further than this five points so just five In points into r5 exactly okay because it's for the level five skill when the commander's formation is comprised of fell beasts the initiative of two enemy commanders minus 10. um i oh yeah that's that's great but i, I have a problem i don't have fell yeah. beasts yet I, I don't have fell yeah, beasts. I, it's why i put um an announcement uh last week you did not see now if you want you need to check if there is one available okay mm. in uh in murder or whatever and uh, go take it but you need like to go walking building fort. you know you yeah. cannot just long march and uh, so you need to do that or wait that we have it in locket yeah what would you do if you were in my situation then if you want to use Witching or not. If you don't want to use Witching, you don't need Felbeast. You can you can go back to Sestaro. Well I would but love, you need a, I, you I need would love to use the Witch King, but as as of now, I can't use yeah. it because I like Felbeast, right? So I am forced exactly. to use Kestaro. Exactly. exactly. Okay, okay. Then let's do it yeah. exactly. Or, like or that. you can Yeah, or you can just go with Witching. For now, you just play with R3 and R0 top. Yeah. Yeah. yeah the yeah. time you get, the time you get Philby. So you start leveling him up, you know. Okay. Let's just make a quick announcement for everybody who was listening, guys. So what Francis says is, Witch King, right? This is the build. If you have Felbies, um, I am at respect level eight right now. This is where he shines the most in this build. You have stun, you have strong debuffs, you take away initiative from the enemy commanders, you also deal some bursty focus damage while having a bit stun for the first two rounds. But since I lack Elbies, now I have to reset this and go into the build I had at the start, which is maxing out R top, R0 top, uh, R3. And then whatever leftover points I have, I drop into R5. And here we are. Yeah. All right. I will work on getting Felbeast and then we will see again. 
then let's make this commander move to the front line. Yeah. Is it lagging for you guys too when you scroll to another battlefield like, like I do right now? You see how Bluestacks player isn't really working smoothly? Am I the only one who has this experience? No, it's everyone. Dual game is crashing. It's been like uh, two, three days at least. People are complaining. Yeah. So since they updated to 2.0 and the new marching system, etc, etc, the game has become less stable. Kind of. Um, no, it is, it is uh, recently actually. It, uh, it's been just a few days that it worked. Like for season start and all that, it was working fine. Because I don't know why it's now. Mm. All right. I have nothing but guardians on my commanders. Is that okay? Guardians? Yeah, it, it's okay. You don't get um, the burst because you have kind of a burst if if you use the. Uh, let me check. Uh, if you use the. Um, I can show you, maybe it's better. You will understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we go there. When you go to... Uh, from the keep... Well, where I have my... Are you sharing your screen right now? Uh, no, I'm not sharing. I'm not sharing. When you go to the screen... Uh, okay. When you go to your commander, by the way. A commander screen, okay. Like, like, like there is two things. There is the fact of using um, the, like the wall march you have, the four formation have the same unit type. Small units, medium units, or big units. Wait a second, Francis, I'm having trouble following. Um, where exactly do you want me to be in the screen? I am at the commander screen right now. Okay, when you go to like when you want to reinforce, reinforce. change the unit, change, oh, yes, so, oh, change oh, the unit. That screen, okay, let's go to the army, was it? Yep. I'm there? Yeah, wait, there is a delay, I think. Yeah, there is one. And also, my undying <laughs> is already marching towards the front line, so we can't see him here. We have to make do with another formation. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Your game is so laggy too. You see in the top? In the top you don't have anything. If you put all the units the same type, there will be a buff that appears. Let's do it. Okay, I'm gonna exchange more like trolls. Or let's say yeah, if raiders. For, uh, uh -huh. It's the same type and we get a bonus. Medium army bonus. Defense plus 10 for your units. Okay. Um, is it always a good thing to go for that bonus? Or are there cases where you say, I don't need it? It depends. For example, if you are using um, witching, for like myself I'm using, like you won't get this, you know. But you don't care because there is a purpose in a, in why you are doing a formation in a way and not in another. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you need to think about your formation, what is best for the formation. Uh, efficient. It's all about efficiency. Yeah. So you, sh you choose, you know, it's not you put uh, random stuff. If you can choose, there is a purpose. For example, if you make, if you, if you have half the army, uh, I will give you an example. If you have half the army uh, flying unit and the rest is not flying unit, you don't get the advantage of using flying unit, yeah. which means it's just going like very in slow, slight right? uh, No, um, you 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 are using, for example, if half your army is using flying beast and the other half not, you are still getting. Uh, you are not getting the advantage of using shield beast or eagles, eagles, mm. because you won't fly over uh, the map. You know you will need to use the the marching rules for ground unit. Mm. 
Yeah. So if you use fly, uh, if you use flying units, I use for them when it's for whisking, but not for the rest. So I have a purpose. Yeah. Otherwise, it it's either use all of it or not. The yeah. the only case, for example, in the current commanders, it's uh, a formation that require you to have some type of unit. Otherwise, you go. It is it can be advantageous to go all small or all medium or all whatever you know. Yeah. It's give an extra stats. You know, you you can sleep on it unless you are limited to okay. I I need to switch king r5. Uh, it can be you know because th then you need to think about it. If you are a whale, you can use actually expensive units because usually you will have you, you will do more. You know. If you are a medium spender, I will not recommend to go uh, with flying units, for example, expensive one. I will tell you like, listen, even if you are using uh, expensive units and you lose anyway. So in the long run of a war, you know, uh, the cost efficiency is not worth it for you. Mm -hmm. You know, then it's case by case, but for you as a low or medium spender, it's not worth it because you have you, the expense you have and to recover the troops is bigger. Yeah. Your job when you, your job kind of when you are low spender, it's like okay, if I draw, it's already win. If I if I kill half the army, even if I die with cheap units and I I, I kill half the army of a whale, yeah. I'm winning this state. I'm winning this state because. Yeah. In the first place, we are not fighting in the same conditions. Yeah, yeah. So we need we need to accept when we are low spender yeah. or medium spender. Even, even medium spender, you you can see uh, for I example, agree. In a target. You, you're right, Francis. And uh, right so now, you go. Yes, you go with the mindset. Okay, I will lose this fight, but at least I will I will kill I will try to kill as much as possible so that my teammates after me yeah. can finish it, and that teamwork. Yeah, yeah actually agree. teamwork will always do better you know like it doesn't matter you, you can have 30 big whales if you don't have the activity behind a, a full team you will lose anyway yeah. you know because you are bleeding also yeah i do consider myself a low spender for the time being until i get mm -hmm. some things sorted out but until then i am a low spender so I'm not one of you Krakenish guys. The only thing I can do is either follow up on one of you big Krakens, right? Mm. Like one yes. second after you attack, I have to land too, right? Exactly. The, the, yeah. the plan is always to try it in a coordinated way. Like, yo, let's, let's eat in 10 minutes, guys. Let's have a few guys eating in the same time. Mm. So then it will hurt because even if you lose, uh, you have killed some, the guy after you will probably finish it, you know, because mm. he, he will be already uh, weakened, you know, weaker. Instead of having a full march, you have already half, maybe one third. And then it's like that, that you can actually hurt your opponent. It's not by solo fight, because the issue when you do solo fight, it's you go, you go solo. You lose solo, and the other guy maybe just lost uh, half the march, but not full march. So, if you count, he, he lost half the march, plus what is in the um, apothecary, you know, the the healing, the healing, the, the tubes that you can heal. So, in the end, the trade for you was very, very bad. Mm -hmm. But you can make up, it, you can make up if it's a coordinated hit, because you make sure that you will you will kill all the march of the guy. So even if he killed you, he will die also after. So it's make up the loss. Mm. And what but I what also, go solo, what what I also wanted to ask Francis, um, right now we are fixing my formation with undying, right? So mm. we already established that I am a low spender that I should better follow up, that I should get Felbies. Okay, I will keep that all in mind. Am I right now the best version of myself? Can we first check this? Because we can operate from there. 
if I am the best version mm -hmm. of myself or not. Eight, twelve, seven, ten. Not looking nice. What what level is your left? Lords is at respect level ten, and I didn't ascend him since I lacked the okay. the gear for him. So he is legendary status with respect level mm -hmm. ten. Yeah, but let me think. It depends, you know. It depends. Like you can choose for them to go with undying or look if you are if you are stand look i will say if you are stand look and get his unique i will go with look i will go with look unfortunately of undying, uh, uh, because of the respect level of undying it's not that high so yeah i could i could unlock lots uh, respect 10 item i could but i can't um upgrade it right now um mm. i think i need to what was it Get some. Oh, oh yeah, my Kestaro. My Kestaro has all of my golden Mithril in his uh, respect 10 item. So I need to extract yeah, that back. first. Go back on. You can see what you need for the. I mean, I can there get it. Ascension. I, I there can... is an ascension in, in the respect level. You can see what you need to ascend him. It's still a long way for me. I, I won't get 40. Uh... Saruman scrolls any any time soon. It will take me a lot of time to get this. Mm. Since I am a low spender, right? Yeah. Not the look, yes. You can see what you need. So should I still select Lords over no. dying? No, 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 no. Not not unless it's Unlock. Or no, you can just play with Undying, actually. Yeah. You play with Undying, and maybe in the future, if you unlock it, and Undying is not like, you know, if, if the level of him is not better than it is now, you can swap for future seasons, you know. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep all of that in my mind, but while we are also evaluating commanders, how about we have a quick look at the tier list I recently created because i think there needs to be some fixing fixing done you know like moving loads up to s tier shadow also to s tier um would you share your opinion on this list and let's fix it yeah i can look i can look with you if you want awesome. but when you say uh, when you you know when you do the list when you say it's a s tier it means just for the heavy side right because for example the commander, if we put with uh, the uh, an RP wall, you know, world, they are not S tier actually. Mm. So the let's, let's talk the, about. Um, it oh, depends yeah. if you are doing a list. If if you do a list uh, based on uh, an RP world, of mm -hmm. you, if you do just for uh, like evil and you separate evil and good side, it depends. You know, it's why the list. Yeah. Let's do it for RP then, because RP is the setting I have more experience with. I'm my whole channel okay. is more based on role play anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think one day we'll need to to adjust well, because there is more players. And just to non role play. Yeah, you will need. You oh, will need. The big, okay. Because I I have a big are... issue, Francis. I have a big yes. issue because I have two uh -huh. separate accounts. One pure okay. evil side, one pure good mm. side. So I have two yeah. different investment directions. And now I have yeah. to decide for one just because non-RP is the future. I hope mm. that there will be a possibility to merge two different accounts. No, yeah. it's not possible. It's not possible. They, they won't do that. They yeah. won't even do that. And this is the dilemma I have. I spent at least yeah. 3k into each of these accounts and now I have to decide to go just with one of them. That means mm. I'm losing 3k value from one account if I go with one. Exactly. That, if I had known that NetEase would pull something like this and destroy roleplay for the long term, mm. I would, wouldn't have done two accounts. Yeah. yeah. You, you, can, you can eventually try to 
I don't know if you can even talk to me to in the ear, but I found it. Yeah, we'll see. I'm mm-hmm. gonna reach out to the support team and ask if a merge is possible. Maybe they would make an exception since, hey, you're a YouTuber, you're doing some some marketing for us. Why not? I'll try. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can try. So yeah, let, let, let's come back to this list and. Um, Shall we tackle it from a role-playing standpoint or non-RP? What do you think? Okay. Oh, you want? I see it's evil, evil side for now. Evil you side. can do evil side. Yeah, evil side if you want. Uh, yeah, if you check my live stream, I am already on my um, evil side tier list. Mm-hmm. And now I would just like to move the commanders from their certain place because I think. There needs yeah. some fixing. Yeah, when you do the list, are you separating? Um, oh, 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 I can say the spending level or not? Let's say. Like, are, we, are we considering uh, it for whales or if for a um, normal player, average player? Let's... Because there's a big difference. For example, Scalia. Yeah. No, Scalia for whales. is actually very strong, but it needs to be max, you know, so it's not for everyone. Like even yeah. it's a it's a S tier. If you consider just the evil world, okay, just evil, uh, it will be so S tier, but only for a few players because you need the unique like four to five star refinement, uh, maxed out everything, max level, yeah. blah blah. So it depends. You know there is like the star could be a A. However, it's not an A for everyone. It need to if he is like Zenith. After Zenith, mm. he, he start to be something okay to use, good. Uh, he will always struggle against Gandalf the White. Yeah. However, it's still, it's still good, you know. In, it's still okay. Right. But I, it's not yeah. level. I so think. If are, I, I will. Th- I, I, if put for average players, you will put S for um, Lord Shadow. Thorn, because Thorn, uh, I don't know, R5, it's already okay-ish, like, uh, because you are low, spend, low medium spender, you you go with the RNG of the madness that can actually yeah. make you win or a though that normally you, you should not, so. Yeah. Uh, but there is, in the evil side, there is a few that are yeah. good, others that are not, but yeah. But, but let's talk about the standpoint of a whale player and also you have your commander at least between respect 5 and respect 10. And if it comes to that, like mm. my experience with Kestara, because that's where I am right now, I would actually mm. give him A tier instead of S tier. That's what I have mm. experienced with him so far. Yeah, yeah for me it's a, it's a, it's a A. Yeah. Like for me S tier will be... Uh, it's happened, but for example, Kalen will go this year if it's um, if it's a whale. If it's not, it's not. Uh, you can put it maybe on A because it's still okay compared to all others evil commanders. So uh, let me fix it. So I'm pulling Kestaro back to the A tier, and you said, did you just say Lords and Shadow top to the S tier, right? Yes, yes, on evil side. Uh, yes, even for average players, mm. it's it's kind of okay. I will not say easy, but it's kind of for the average players that have at least I don't know ten seasons, even if not spending a whole lot, but a little bit here and there, mm. they they can they can have a Chichu Chichu commanders. Uh, uh, it's not even called Chichu, no. But, yeah, uh, they can they can have it. Uh, yeah. Some level, you know. I, I agree, mate. Eight, um, My experience with Shadow was always great mm-hmm. at, at that respect yeah. level. Um, I was very happy with him. And uh, Lords, I still need to pull him to the same legendary level, the mythic level. Yeah. But he too was mm-hmm. never disappointing. So these two definitely S tier. What about the Undying? He is sitting here and I don't think that he deserves it. He should be placed in front of Axok at least, right? Yeah, Exog is not an A tier. It's a B tier. Uh, uh, for me, uh, the thing is, for me, I'm more. Uh, 
picky, but uh, mm-hmm. I, I will not pick uh, A tier for Agro, actually. And I agree. Since I have done some PvPing with him in the last days, with the same right. gear my Undying was using, mm-hmm. and I saw yeah. that the, he is lacking utility. Undying has no, at uh, least stun, no. but and also mm-hmm. evade. He may do some less mm-hmm. damage, like 4k.800 thousand uh, mm-hmm. physical damage. Agzog may do more, but he lacks utility. And that, that mm-hmm. makes sense, like he is falling down to the B tier. Mm. Yeah, no, he's a bitch. Yeah. And what uh, about what about Saruman? This guy has a lot to offer. No, Saruman is nice. Actually, he's very nice in terms of focus damage. For mm. example, I will tell you, that's the tricky, that's the tricky part of doing chillist. Saruman is stronger in terms of focus damage. He's stronger than Kalel and Testaro. When I say stronger, it's for average players to Zenit 1, for example, mm. Zenit 2, he will do better than the others. And he's more reliable. Yeah. Then shouldn't, like for Saruman, the... shouldn't Saruman be an S tier or do you think it is A tier still? It, it depends. If you consider for average player, an average player is better to Saruman because you know he won't reach uh, uh, you know, if he's just uh, R10, R12, but don't go, won't go further, who's just Tarman instead of uh, instead of the Star or uh, Kalelm, mm-hmm. in my opinion, because uh, yeah, he's reliable, his focus damage is reliable and all that, and mm-hmm. then he's in his R5, if I'm not mistaken, I don't use him, but in his R5, you have also touch that are shared. To the wall formation, or uh, I don't know, I, is I need to. R5 well, is Sharky, attack and defense of orcs, Urukai, evil man units in three allied formations, plus a yeah. certain point, and this is affected by the command stat. Oh, the more command, the more bonus you gain from it. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, it's okay. Well, you won't, basically, if you go focus damage, you won't get a lot of command stat anyway, but it, it's okay. It's okay. It's yeah. still, uh, it's still some stuff, you know. Uh, and for the uh, RP side, evil players, they will be using uh, orc or Urukai or evil man. So mm. it's a good because the value of a skill in this case, because it's for um, three units. Yeah, three formations. That's three great. Units, so, so the value multiplied by three. Yeah. You know That's what I great. mean? Because yeah. it's not just for one commander; it's for three other for uh, it's for three formation. Mm-hmm. Attack and defense. And when it says yes. allied formation, does it also include the commander? Uh, I think so. No, 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 no. Not in this case. Oh, not for Sal Sharky. Case. Okay. No, 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 no. Because Only the it's units. For, uh, yes, it is for the units. Second defense orcs, Urukai, evil man. Because let's mm. say uh, 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 um, Urukai, right? Lourdes is an Urukai yeah. commander. So, but it states units. That's why it doesn't count. Okay. Yes, it's just unit. It's just unit. It's a unit. Yeah. Like uh, it will be different. It is. Uh, it is like uh, for them the Palantir Squire that say by two allied formation. Mm. Then. It, it will apply to the wall formation. Yeah. And it's, and, and it's passive. Like for the 10 rounds on each round, it's just there. It's active. The, the, the what? It's active. It is a passive skill. It's in each round, it's just active. Which one? The Sharky R5. Ah, no, it's a pre battle thing. I mean, on each round, it's just active, right? On each round, you uh, do have the plus 10 value. Yes, yes, the wall fight. The wall fight. It's yeah. a pre-battle thing. So it's like from the start of the battle, Yeah. it is the stats that the unit will have. And in contrast to that, his bottom R0, Palantir Scryer, is active mm. every three rounds. And it says two, two allied formations. So I think that also includes the commander. Is that right? Yes, yes. There it is. Commander and unit. 
Mm. So I have the three, six, and nine. So wouldn't this? Let's assume I am fighting with Saruman, and I witness that my commanders are getting sniped. Isn't that an indicator for me to go with Palantir Scryer to say, "Hey, I need the damage mitigation from it for my commanders"? No, there, there is a thing. There is a thing. The commanders take less damage as long as you have units. You, if you read all the reports you have, you will never see a commander die before ah, the unit. Okay. There, right. there is there is there is kind of um, Iden, if we can say Iden buff or debuff, you can call it whatever. That that um, it's either the buff for the, the, your commander or the buff for the damage uh, the yeah. others are doing to it. But basically, as long as you have units, um, it, it won't die. It, yeah. And you will notice the commander will die one or two rounds after uh, the units are dead. Mm -hmm. All right, that brings us back to the tier list. So, mm -hmm. Saruman, you say, you say it depends, but he could be better than Kestaro, and I think Looking into That's his how... damage, he is close yeah. to the focus damage of Kestaro. He too has a great relic, right? His he's relic. He, he, he's great. He's great uh, in terms of damage. Uh, until reaching a certain level, he's, a, he's better than Kestaro and Skull. Definitely. And he's more reliable. Yeah. He has madness. Because why um, don't you... you know, uh -huh. I, summarized, I summarized the commanders with um, the points where they stand out. Like for me, Saruman, I mm -hmm. summarize him as someone who deals comparable damage like Kestaro. Kestaro is a beast when it comes to focus damage. Saruman is close to it. Like Kestaro is de dealing 7k-ish focus damage while he is 6k-ish focus damage. But he also has madness, 50% madness proc chance. He has damage mitigation with R5. He himself can become immune to commander madness which is great when you are fighting against the krakenish saurons right krakenish saurons want to inflict madness on you and he also has a great relic now what do you say you... about the relic no, no normally you won't go with the uh, with that skill in him you you go with the r0 top mm -hmm. damage r3 and then in the um the rest of the points in r5 anyway yeah so you go focus focus and then the rest is just a kind of utility and I see. Uh, yes in the, in the r3 in the r3 you have a um, you have a proc for madness a chance of madness mm -hmm. so yeah it's okay and then you have also the level 10 it, it, it's work okay especially if you use for example each king and otters nazgul uh, because damage saved by targets affected by madness or turn plus five percent, it comes for everyone. So, uh, what else? Uh, and yeah, the the R zero top is uh, it's the damage. Yeah, it's pure and elemental it's damage, fun. focus and poison. Yeah, and yeah, for for you go. And the thing is, like it's like that. You you break down like that. Uh, if you are an average player. Harman is better than Skylar and Festaro, especially if you fight uh, White Council, because right away in the pre battle phase, um, it will mitigate some of your damage a lot. So it, it hurts a lot. Like, for them, Skylar need to be faster than Gandalf the White, or his damage go go go, go, go nullify almost. Mm. He will still have damage, but it's not the same. All right, I'm so, back. So, Saruman for average player is better. Yeah. Saruman is better for average player. Got it. We are back to the tier list, by the way, Francis. And uh, yeah, please continue while looking at this version of the tier list. What else? Uh, Ogluk. I will put Ogluk better than those guys uh, in bed. All right. So, move him to the A tier. Uh, no, no, not a tier. B tier. B tier, okay. 
And where exactly? To the very left? So that means he's better than Exoc or right after Exoc? Depends how you use it. But for a for average player, depends on how you use it. Like if you want to go damage dealer, commander, mm. uh, mm, I'm I'm kind of sure he will do more damage than Agro. He's kind of special because you can either go tank, and then if you use it as a tank, he's awesome. Like you put him up really because you don't need the whole lot of respect for it. And uh, you know you have a live source of tankiness, you know. Yeah. He's very tanky. So uh, as a tank, as a tank, he can be A tier, and as yeah. a damage dealer, he could be B, B tier, I guess. Yeah, yeah um, as a tank. I, I remember that in, in our team, some people were using him at the start, but nowadays I don't see him at all. Yeah, because um, because look, depend on what you use. Uh, when most people use Thorn, they use Thorn like uh, with initiative and tankiness to be tanky. Because mm. anyway, Thorn focus damage is, is almost uh, nothing. It's mediocre, so yeah. Do, that's also what I calculated. Uh, 2.7k uh, ish. So for me, if I have a Thorn, I use a Thorn. If I don't have a Thorn, if I don't have. Um, Gear for Thorn, or because it's kind of special. Mm. Uh, if you don't have, uh, I don't know, if you if you speed it, always the lowest in the battle. Then don't even use Thorn uh, for tankiness. Oglok will be better. Th there is many. It's why the chalice is always subjective. And for me, in my opinion, doing chalice it depends. You either do it like specific to a person or a type of. Um, Spending, you know, spending level, mm. or or it's very hard because you can do a chalice for low spender, one for medium spender, one for big spenders, for example. True. You can do for if you have the unix or not. If it's um, I don't know, if it's a certain level or not. Yeah, so it's kind that's of very, true. very, yeah. very difficult, you know. So when people will just go with the chalice. They will go with the chalice. Oh, uh, I saw in this chalice is S, A. Okay, but it depends on what you have. Uh, for me, uh, doing chalice is not good because you need to go with case by case. Every account is different. We all have uh, respect level different, yeah. uh, equipment different. Sometimes you can have uh, the commander, but. You don't have the gear for it, maybe. Yeah. Or you have the gear for it, but the commander respect level, it's not enough to be efficient. Or yeah, th that's maybe... totally true. But imagine you're a new player and you have uh, no contact with content in regards to Rise to War. And when you start this game, you want to have yeah. at least some guidance, you know, like uh, look at the tier list and see, all right, here are the commanders I should definitely yeah. invest into for the long mm -hmm. term, you know, like that, that... from that Probably best, yeah. Probably best to do depending on the spending level uh, as player. If they start the game, they know they will be spending a lot. They know what to focus on. If they know they won't be spending a lot. But, but that's the then, point. They don't know what to invest in. They first need someone telling them, hey, exactly. if you are thinking about long term, this is the way exactly. to go. Long exactly. term. Exactly. Uh, in, in, in this regard, like average players, Look, Kadol, Thorn, Oglurk, Saruman, um, they're reliable. Witching also, because you can work uh, at, uh, at right away R5 level, you know. Um, you, you check, what you do is you check based on respect level, from the R5 to R10, you know, what is best, um, or R, I don't know, 15. And then from the Zenith level, then it go. It's another thing, it's like uh, the Star Wars, Kaleon, uh, authors that come in play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you're... Um, oh my game I will crashed. Put your, uh, I, I will put your um, Black Serpent, Iger, actually. Like, it, at least a demon. Black Serpent? Um, uh, oh, oh, are, yeah. people, are people PvPing with Black Serpent? Because I haven't seen any lately. 
No, there is not many people using it. Okay, but you would place them into CT, you say? Yeah, compared with the others you have there, yes. Okay. Because I'm just looking, for example, the, the, mm, yeah, compared with what you have there, yes, definitely. Okay, C tier it is for him. Yeah, C tier, because you don't uh, need uh, a lot of world respect uh, level to be okay to use. And uh, you wait, uh, you, it give bonus to all, it give uh, stats for units and also commander. Which is okay, you know. Uh, he has also the um, burn damage. He has also some burn damage, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. Let me just quickly go back into the game. It crashed once more. <laughs> ah, the game, this game. Uh... My undying is still marching to the front line. I need half an hour before I reach you guys. With the new formation you recommended, right? We have Sauron now inside it instead of Kestaro. Uh. Guardians, and I need to take care of Felbeats. I will do it after the stream. Okay. Uh, gear wise, I think I'm gonna collect 16 Elven Hammer. And once I have 16 Elven Hammer, I'm gonna destroy everything I have and build from zero again. And by that time, I hope that I have spent a bit more, collected more items, maybe was even lucky enough to get agility as a set for a Sauron. That's what I'm hoping for. Man, I I'm so sad that I didn't give my, let's say, Spear of the Riddermark to my Sauron. I think I had a couple of them. I could have given one to Sauron for the plus initiative. Let me quickly check my items I've needed. Samuel is suggesting, hey Azra, you should switch to performance and turn off shadow. It might help with crashing. I will try it out. I will try it out as soon as I crash once more. So I was checking out the Reach of the Riddermar. I think I had a few more. Yeah, two more here. And it has Fortitude. So I could pass this to my Sauron, which would be better. I lack Agility. Do I have anything else with Agility in my weapon? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, Mirkwood's Thorns, that too can make Sauron work, but it lacks initiative on the weapon. I just have the set bonus. But, but yeah, just like I said, once I collect 16 Elven Craftsman's Hammer, I would love it if you and I could go over my gear again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do. Time has, by that time, you will have more knowledge to further improve on equipping the commanders, right? Because now we know just more. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And I'm thinking about destroying, dismantling the Respect 10 item of my Kestaro and instead giving it to my Lords in the future. It will be the first time? Do you do it? Because you can ask um, you can ask the dev. Okay, you have a one time thing uh, with the dev. They can dismantle like up to three Unix you have. Give it all what you have. Because if you dismantle normally, you will lose uh, some equi e e equipment. Oh, uh, I never did done that. So you say I should reach out to the support team? Yeah. Yeah, if you want, I can give you a, a macro I have. That would be uh, sweet. I, I'm gonna I do it. I'm gonna do it on Kestaro's weapon. You you can do for uh, all the all the units you want, but you have just a one time. It's why I'm saying, like you need to be sure how you do it because otherwise, if you try again, they will they will say you already uh, add on your uh, arms. You cannot make another exception. Blah blah blah. Yeah. 
I, I'm kind of sure because I do want to have the Shadow in my team. I want Witch King in my team, Sauron in my team. The only slot that is left for debate is the Undying slot. And mm. I think you would suggest me to go with Lourdes instead of Undying, right? Uh, if you get Unic, yes. If you get Ivers, but yes. If not, then you can continue to go with Undying. Yeah. So that makes my Kestaro obsolete, which is why I'm thinking about using the support to get rid of his um, art, of, of his rel mm -hmm. relic here. It's just yeah. wasted potential here. Yeah, yeah. True. Uh, you know what I'm scared of? As soon as they make another change, that all of our investments will be ruined again. Let's say they mm. bring another commander and that commander is so great that you have to have him in your team to be meta. And then what do you do? Like the respect on one but of the commanders part, is ruined. Yeah, but that's part of the game. You know, uh, there will always be new commanders eventually. Uh, you know, normally uh, this game, it, I can I, I can say, okay, I can say. I, I have played many, uh, many, many years in many games. Mm. This game is the most um, low thunder friendly you can have. And I will tell you why. And that in says Otter's something. Game, in Otter's game, in Otter's game, like there is every week or every month new things that you need to invest on. Otherwise, you fall behind. And you need oh, to wow. always be constantly spending money. Uh, there is always new things, new equi e e equipment, new commanders. You know, new champions, new whatever, um, new features. You know, you can see the devs are kind of very slow and cheaty on updating things, on bringing new mechanics. You know, mm. for example, now we have the new marching system, the new thing. Uh, it changes everything, but it took them, I don't know, two years to, to, to you know, two years. In Notter's game, those kind of things happen every two, three months, maybe. Big change like that, maybe not, uh, maybe not like that, but big change that you need to adapt to invest again and again and again. So, like you, you you play with what you have, you know. So if you are if you are a big spender, you you know you will invest in new things. If you are not, then you. I will advise to not spend. Mm -hmm. Let it pass. Like for example, the Bard days was a uh, this good new uh, this uh, new good side commander that came out. And then you read the skills, you see the meta is no, 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 and you, you you kind of overthink it. Oh, it it looks like very very strong. No, let the big spenders that will spend on it anyway, because they even if they don't focus on bard, they will get it because they spend in any packs or whatever. They end up getting it and they test it, and then you can have a better idea. It is worth it or not. And mm. for them, bard. It's not worth it. If you are not the Kraken level, it's not worth it because it's not even uh, an, a must-have commander, you know, to have in a formation. Mm. So you don't need to, okay, I need to invest. You can, you, you, you let the time pass, you see if it's worth it or no, and then you see, okay, this commander, it's a must-have. I must start spending, depending on my level of spending, to have it, and then you adjust to it. But if it's not a must have, you can think, okay, I don't need it. So I did not invest on it yet and I won't invest on it later. So it's okay, you know. We need to be wise and efficient depending on the spending level we have, you know. Not like, uh, for example, there is people that uh, this week I have some money I will spend in random packs. And may and then maybe, uh, because the seasons, you know, the seasons, uh, as the seasons go, it unlocks some packs. You, as a medium spender, you need to choose in which pack you're gonna invest. Oh, definitely. Season. Yeah. And, and and you adjust to, uh, to it. You know, it's not like oh, this this week I have money, so I, I can take money. No, this week I have money. I will save it for when the packs I need for my account for my level of spending. I will invest on for the commanders I am trying to have. So that's the way, the smart way, the wise way to, to do, you know. And I'm glad that Not you opened like... the, the packs, 
that you mm. one could buy because I haven't used my methems in a long time for packs. I'm saving up until I have 100 methems, then I'm gonna yeah. make a video out of it. But once I have 100, do, do, wait, do 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 60 by 60, 60 by 60, 60 by 60. Every number is every 60 pulls, you get one golden item. So, so you, you think, can do yeah, but you have to it? also think about the YouTuber standpoint. When I create content, people get more excited about yes. the 100 methems, right? No, then then do 200. 200. Then do 200. There, there is pack that 200. You get uh, you get um, um, you get a letter. Like ah. open the pack, go in the matum, open the pack, uh, check in the white side. There is a number tag slash. 20, uh, 200. So the, the excitement you will have is to see what letter you will have in the end. Ah, uh, I see. And okay, but which packs are worth investing into it? So you have seen my formation. You have seen yep. that I'm using Witch King, Sauron, Undying and Shadow. Yep. Which pack would be uh, my go-to? Okay, for me, if you have a, num a specific thing, like which is which is the one you know you have, what package is one? Click on it. Glory, glory so days. But, but this is, isn't this support? Ah, the, the normal one. Yeah, the normal one. Okay, okay. That, for example, you look, you open it, you go in the commander respect, you you see how much of these commanders are worth it for you. No, for you the renewal celebration. Renewal celebration. The one you have before. There is a wish list, and yeah. So on. because you need to make a wish list. Wouldn't people like go with Beorn here, number one, and then Dine also being selected here? That's for me. For example, for me personally, uh, like I, I use it, the two hundred because. There is a trick. The drop rate is the same as for other pack. However, you choose. Here you choose the commanders you have. So, in other pack, you, maybe there is just one or two commanders that you actually want to invest on. So, you have a chance to get a uh, respect level for commanders that you actually don't want. Mm -hmm. In this one, you choose the commander, so you can choose actually most of it, may, maybe not, be, uh, obviously not all, but the commander you will choose, most of it will be commanders that you actually are using, want to use, and want to continue level up. Mm. So for them, that's a good pack. If you are a kind of medium spender, low spender, no, low spender, it's, uh, it's impossible. But if you are a medium spender and you can do maybe once, once per season this, this one or once every two, two season then go for it because you are choosing you are choosing you will get the same drop rate from others and in the end it's important yeah. in the end you need to have 200 because in the end you have a chance to get a letter for one of the commanders you actually want yeah even mm -hmm. if it because it will be random it will be random in those choice but yeah. it's actually one that you are using so because you choose them you have a, a better chance to get what you want yeah. it's why you you need to save 200 and then you you make for them this pack and then for me it's like wait, Francis, wait can, can, can you just um quickly tell the people like if they want to play hardcore meta which commanders they should definitely have here in the mythic category like i think dine and baron that's mm -hmm. a given but who else oh gandalf the white man gandalf the he, white. Yeah. hands down the best hands down, hands down the best commander in the game but we don't see you don't see like the damage you do like Dane because people like to look at the damage. Oh, look at Dane. Oh, look at... Yes, but if there was not Gandalf the White behind them, it it's should be slightly them, right? worse. It should be, because if you can play with Gandalf the White and uh, let's say Luke, Kado and uh, I don't know what, you will see that you are doing slightly better already just because you are using Gandalf the White. Yeah. Hands down the best. Uh, everyone that is using meta, 
if you have Gandalf the white, you 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 already not right away. You are doing better because you have more survivability, and so your commanders do more damage because they actually survive longer. Samuel is saying Gandalf the White, Sauron, and Dine are definitely the best. So let's let's do also include yeah, the, Sauron. The, the meta Sauron, yeah, Sauron. And who would be our last um, commander to select? Not the Witch King, but someone else. Mm. Re-enter it. Uh, actually, oh, the, the last one it it depends. You know, there is a few that are good. There is a few. It depends what you are using, what you already have. Uh, you can use anything. You know, if you have Kendall do uh, in terms of. Yeah, uh, T3, you can use uh, pretty much anything after. Then, uh, depending on your the... game style, you can go with um, uh, the King of Men. That, King uh, of Men, yeah, Man, that's uh, what I wanted to say because I remember he was punishing someone if um, he was using CC against you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, that would be the list if you want to be hardcore meta. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like your Kang of Man. Uh, easy to use also. It's a good tank, man. It's a good tank. I do have um, Isidro on my good side account, and I am using him as a tank, right? Yeah, exactly. No, the, the, then, for example, for PVA, actually, um, Radagast. I, I, I found <laughs> because I'm not a good side player, but I, I read about Radagast kill, mm -hmm. and I was like, what the fuck is this kill? Like you put the Gandalf the White Radagast together, they take no damage in in uh, in PVA in in uh, you know to farm farming. Oh, he, he has the brown brown skills. I don't know the name. It's bone something. Brown. With, yeah. With uh, with uh, with the healing and you have also another. It, it's big healing, man. It's I'm crazy. gonna also lock into my good side account and let's check out the Radagast skills in a second. But before we do so, let's quickly fill the list for the legendary category. I think you will say Gimli. Gimli R2, a T2 commander. He is very strong, comparable to Dine. He has a great relic weapon. Yeah, he's okay. He's okay. He's not. He's okay. I... Shadow looks are better. For example. Of course, yeah. Shadow Lords. Shadow Lords are better. Let's get them in. Not much left. Um, mm. You will probably say Gandalf the Grey, right? Because of White Council? Yeah. Yes, it's the, it's the cheap version of Gandalf the White. Yeah. Last but not least. Hmm. Will you say... Will you say T2 Aragorn? Uh, okay, give me a moment. I'm connecting here. The fuck is this? Because in he... I. What is it? Uh, no. Or maybe oh, Thrine? I... Thrine as a support for Dwarven commanders? That's the question. Mm. In each commander. Let me check. Two, so uh, two, two, two. Hello. Um, uh, Samuel says Aomir and Aragon T two are not bad. Yeah, that's that's what I think too. Both great Balin. damage dealers. Balin. Balin. Yeah, Balin. Man. But but, but why Balin? Isn't isn't his <laughs> retaliate days over? Yes. Uh, yes. Wait, let me check something else. Wait, what is? Or it's not Balin? No, let me check something else. Wait, maybe not him. Yeah, take your time. My it? game just there, crashed there again. <laughs> the game crashed. The, ah, Falgin, 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 not Balin. Yeah, th yeah that's yeah, what yeah. I thought. That's what I thought because of the dwarf yeah. unit buffs. Yeah. Yeah, he's dumb tongue that shit, man. He is. Thank you, Astrid. I can tell you, it's thank you, Astrid. But it's crazy. And uh, it will do some damage, okay? Yeah, you have some DD damage, but 
in terms of tankiness using dwarves in it it's crazy it's crazy uh, i can tell you on the word if people have it yeah word, word to go for it so we said gimli and of the gray we said uh, algin lords and shadow shadow that is the yeah. T2 commander list. Eventually, for Siege, Gotmog. Especially with... Uh, mm. I, I think it's also good to invest in uh, in Siege. Like, you choose what you can do when you are doing these packs. You, you try to still go with Siege because it's important. At least R5. At least R5. If you don't have it, R5. Then the more points, it's more kind of for the early game. Because you are not leveling them up, but even if, if they are a low level, because of the respect level, you already can complete the, the tree for siege and help the help the team in the first capture. It, it can be worth it. Mm. But uh, and to yeah. f- finish this up, we also need to follow up with the T1 commanders. Oh my God, T1. T1, yeah. Oh, th- wait, there is one also, it's good. Hudu and Sam. All Forgot right. him. In terms of tankiness. I think it's Hudu and Sam, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check. Who was it? For tanking? Uh, was it, wasn't it Frodo and Sam for tanking? Yeah. Different. Yeah, yeah, it's what I'm looking now. Yeah, I think yes, I think it's him. Also, you have you have evasion and all that shit. Yeah. Defense. Yeah, it, it, it's okay also. So it, it's the... a cheap. Uh, it, it, even for medium spender, it's a good tanky unit. You know, if so... you can't have a whatever else. So in in regards to T two, should I just um, say you either select Falcon or Frodo? Or shall I exclude someone else from the list? Like, instead of Gimli, go with Frodo. Yeah, instead of Gimli. Instead of Gimli. Um, but, but Personally, I will... Yeah. Because you already have a Shadow and Lutz that do better than Gimli. Okay. You know? Okay. That's the thing. Then let me fix the list once more. My we... good. So the number one damage dealers here are Lords and uh, Shadow. I get that. We also said we want Falgan. And we also want Frodo as a tank. Last but not least, Gandalf the Grey because of the cheaper version of Gandalf the White. White Council. Then T1 Commando. Uh, okay, um, Arsenal is asking, how does the early damage of a maxed out unique item wielding Faramir with maxed gold gear do, considering the early hits reduce the comeback damage? Mm. Let's let's check Faramir. Yeah, check me. So, so it. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'm logging into the wrong account. No wonder it is throwing me out of the game. Uh-huh. I'm logging into the same account on both of my players. Of course I'm getting thrown out. Uh, let me quickly no go problem. to the good side here. Good side. And also lock back to my evil side. Oh, another update is available. Okay. They patched something. 180 megabyte. I have no clue. Maybe the bug will be nice. Man, I wish I could just merge my two different accounts. That would save a lot of throwback i am experiencing right now i would have dine i would have like bayorn at least i would have them you know mm. this account is focused on nothing but evil side roleplay you can still play you know 
Obviously, I, I will say you can still play. The difference is like the equipment and respect level, you know. If you check the reports you will be losing, you will be you will be losing even using a um, meta commander mm. because there is a, there is a gap you know there, there when there is a gap in investment you are already in a, uh, in a disadvantage mm. to, to start with you know All right here's my good side if you, account <laughs> if you for example if you want i will say for your real side account if you want to invest slowly in a commander I will say go for get off the white. Uh, it should be already a good start, very good start for you, uh, for PVA, for PVP, because for damage commanders, like the evil side has a few, you know, Lux, Shadow, Witching, uh, Undying, all of those those damage. It's not the Dane beyond the damage level, but they do damage, so you can. You can kind of not invest on them because we you have already a few. You need more Gandalf the White, for example, in your account. You will need more Gandalf the White. Mm. And you could replace Thoron or Witching with it, you know. Or 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 another one, but it will be nice to have two at least two the the Magilla commander. And no. then maybe Sauron Gandalf the White and you are dead. Sauron Gandalf the White. Yeah. That sounds reasonable. So back to the question of Arsenal. He was asking in regards to uh, Faramir. I have, I have need, opened Faramir need, now. Yeah, you need to show me, but I have a, a delay, you know. Rangers of Ethelion is a damage skill. It is being activated every other round. It does damage against one formation and it has incursion, which makes you go first. And no, not it doesn't make you go first it it lets you activate it already on round one and then the cooldown starts the commander's formation gains initiative in the next round okay last steward this will be active every other round on round two is the first time it's going to be active since you have Rangers of Ethelion mm -hmm. with initiative, it will give you the first hit for your last steward's attack. Mm. Chance to deal additional damage once, 30%. Okay, 30% that. Not very much, but every now and then it will be active. And you are attacking three formations. The question was, how does the early damage of maxed out unique item wielding Farami? Okay, it's in regards to the and unique. It's so early. It's so early. In the first two rounds, Farami and the, um, this formation's ranged units gain initiative and their damage dealt is increased by a certain percentage. When maxed out, you have plus 60% increased damage. Um, Arsenal just wants to know how good is this in PvP? For the first two rounds, isn't that where White Council is active and mitigates early damage? Or also Isildur's damage mitigation called Last Alliance, his R5? He has 10 stacks. It should be mm. still active and denying the burst damage of this relic. Uh, it, mm, I will not use this code because they think it. Even if you have initiative, there is pre battle phase things that are applied regardless, so doesn't matter. And what about the plus sixty percent damage increase when max refined? Is is it worth investing in? I think maybe not Ooh. because. Early round damage yeah. mitigation, like White Council, is reducing the damage of it anyway. Yes, yes, yes. It so doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, the, the right? Thing is, yeah, if, the thing is, you are increasing damage. The far mid and is unit damage, but unit damage in this 
in the current, may, maybe in the future if they fix it, but for now, when it's damage is it's kind not of worth it, right? Not, uh, it's kind of useless. I don't want to say useless, but uh, it's close to it. Uh, and Faramir damage are not something wow, you know, so. Yeah, so our final verdict on Faramir is um, right now I mean, the, not the worth thing it. Is, if you go invest in Unix, the thing about Unix, it's like that. Mm. Unix is an investment you are doing that needs to be worth it, you know. You don't invest money just to test it out, unless you are a big whale. Okay, you, you are a Kraken, you, you are, but no, Unix, actually for Unix, it's an investment you are doing, so it's to use it, you know. You don't go, if you can choose in what you invest, you want to invest in Faramir Unix, you know, because when you choose what to invest, you should to invest in the best, not something random, mid, mid, low, low importance, you know. And bro, I have um, opened a battle report on my Discord. We have one of our um, viewers who has posted a battle report mm. where a Dime player did 214k damage. That's yeah. That was insane. Is it because of the level difference here, like six level difference between the players? You need to show me the report. It will come in a second. Um, I have um, on my live stream. You will see it in a second. It's coming any okay. soon. Ah, Dane. Oh yes, definitely. I have seen. I have seen. Because is this... the thing is, the damage. The damage is uh, is based on the HP. So they are playing full, uh, full flying units that have high HP. So right there, obviously, you will do high damage. Then you need to consider um, who is who. Uh, let me check it there. You have, you have a guinea. Yeah, you have just two commanders that do damage. For example, if you have three commanders that do damage, then you need to consider that the damage will be split mm -hmm. between the three. When you have just two, it's between the two. So it means that the majority of the damage is split with the two. Considering that the other one is Gimli, so if it was Bjorn, then would have done less damage because Bjorn would have done more damage than Gimli does. Mm -hmm. So, so, so it's also like if you want, if you want, you do a test. Um, the same, those two, the same. They do like that. You replace Gimli for a support commander. Then we'll do even more damage mm -hmm. because obviously. I'm not even looking, but obviously there is a level of uh, probably equipment and respect level. Uh, the other side don't have Gandalf the White. Uh, he's full uh, full DD commander, that he don't have even tankiness. So obviously, obviously uh, I'm not sure. Maybe this was made up, or the guy the guy using that formation, he will get killed like 80% of the time. He don't have any support tank, you know. So all the damage is taken is taken them fully you don't have any mitigation he's going full attack you go full attack if you are a big whale and you know you will you will eat better you will eat um like better than the other you know you will eat harder in the mm -hmm. white world you will eat harder so you will end up him before he can do something to you but no that guy just go is a i don't know he's a xp farmer whatever yeah and by the way we still didn't finish the t1 recommendation on the mephim chest chest where you yeah. get to choose so um we just had a little check on faramir but we said no not worth investing right now instead what else could we select t1 uh, Axok, definitely uh, uh, Axok. t1 yes as of Kaldun, I have seen Kaldun is do you do okay. It's just uh, full mm -hmm. damage. GD is he, okay. He's not bad. I'm using him uh, in PvE. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think my... Eowyn. Eowyn is also kind of okay. Uh, For the mounted Ooh. unit formation. 
Yeah, the, you, yes, you, you, you remember that broken combo. You can maybe use a few of them. They, they are not anymore that OP, crazy, or strong. In, uh, they nerfed a lot, but they are still okay. The healing, uh, you know, that healing formation from good side. Mm -hmm. I don't know the names by the by art. Maybe their face, but let's see. The, the healing formation for mounted units, I think it was consisting of, um, first of all, Imra heal because of the healing. Then mm -hmm. you could yeah. go with Denethor. He too has the same healing. And mm -hmm. Theoden, definitely. Yes. yes Aomir. Aomir with the damage. Uh, he's okay too. He's okay actually. I have seen good Aomir, by the way. Mm -hmm. I have seen good uh, in terms of damage. And, yeah, he, he, he's nice. He's nice too. You know what I did? I, since I'm not a fan of Denethor. I, I'm not looking at the stats. Maybe I, I'm. I'm sure I'm wrong. Pe people prefer Denethor rather than Eowyn. But since mm -hmm. I don't like Denethor, since he looks like an old uncle, I have just excluded him from that team, even though he is better. So I am running mm -hmm. in my mounted formation: Theoden, Eomir, Eowyn, and Imrahil. Though. Denethor is better than Eowyn. Uh, I think so too, to be honest. Yeah. Denethor, Denethor, let me check, but I think he's okay. What? Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you have the follow up healing. Okay. But we have two more selections. Oh no, one more selection for the T1. One mm. more selection. Should it be Dwalin? Should it be Boromir? Mm. Or maybe Haldir? Uh, I prefer Boromir. Let me see, buddy. Let me see, buddy. Okay. I'm gonna check Boromir. Yes, then I have him. I have his attack minus. Yeah, I prefer him. Boromir, evade for three formations. First four hit, five hit. Horn of Gondor, pick of three allied formations. Four formations. Yeah, the R3, the R5 is cool. Each round defense of one formation. Do we still suffer from diminishing returns when it comes to plus defense? Mm hmm. It's oh, but we still suffer from diminishing returns. For the what? Diminishing returns means that the higher you stack one stat, like plus defense, mm, mm. the more or the less effect it will have as the turns go on. Like, let's say you have plus 100 defense in round 1. By round 2, it will be re reduced to, like, plus 80 instead of plus 100. That's diminishing returns. And so it continues. Like, by round 5, you may have only 50 defense left. That was something we had in 1.0. I'm not sure if it continues to, to be like that mm -hmm. in 2.0. You're talking about the R5? R5, yeah, it's giving, yeah, yeah, the R5 is giving plus defense, but does the plus yes. defense suffer from diminishing returns, is what I would like to know. No, no, because it's just a stack. It's just a stacking difference. Yeah, yeah, but when, when we had those defense stacks in 1.0, it was suffering, yeah. it was suffering from that effect. Mm. So I'm, I'm not sure how the mechanics work right now. Oh, uh, not in this case. Uh, it, it was more. I think it was more about. Um, I, no, I don't even. Why diminishing return? You you can have a diminishing return if you have too much. That's what you call diminishing return. Exactly. Like, for example, when you when you, you have you... a diminishing return, when, when for example the uh, I will say the attack stat of commander. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's say um, I take. Uh, Whatever we can take. 
or the focus, for them the focus. If you reach a certain level of focus or attack in the in the stats himself, at some point we call it diminishing return when before it was okay, you get one attack um, for each one attack you have a value of it in return for a, the skill. The issue is that when you reach a certain level, investing in that, you know, the investment to uh, to reach another level, mm-hmm. and level, uh, is diminishing by the return of it. It means the efficiency, how efficient the, um, the stats himself will be to the skill. So, for example, for attack, uh, when you reach the 225, something like that to 215 after that you get a, a diminishing return mm-hmm. that is bigger and bigger the more you will have attack because mm-hmm. yeah the more the, the more you stack that mm-hmm. stat the more it suffers from it yeah yes. and and but we still have it right even in 2.0 we still have diminishing returns we we have it for the unit however for the unit for them the defense yeah um i will say it's never enough if you fight a whale because unless you, <laughs> yeah, you know uh, the way. The, because the thing is, um, if you have too much defense for a unit, and you are fighting um, a commander that has low attack, then there is uh, the difference between them is, is too minimal. So yes, you can call it a diminishing return. Yeah. But if the difference is big between your defense and his attack. Then you are, you are the gap of it going um, closer and closer. The efficiency is good until you reach a certain level. You no, know? yeah. so unless you are using, unless you are using um, a lot of defense that maybe are shared, for example, skills, defensive skills that are shared across across the um, the formation. Uh, also, gear focusing on defense, all that. If you have too much. Then maybe we can call it um, the machine return, you know. Yeah. And for example, it's better to have a mitigation in percentage than just uh, I in its defense, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't have, and you need to have, you need to reach a certain level. What I like the most, what you said was, you can't have enough right now. So in in 2.0, when you're fighting whales, you can't have enough. That's what I learned from this. Yeah, I mean, uh, for example, for you, you can't have enough. Unless you go with uh, with uh, four formation, full golden uh, item maxed out with defense uh, and command and so on, and then uh, with that, with that you have also skills that are charged in defense and all that, you know. But mm. even then, even then it's never enough because it's still worth something if you are using a defense. You know, you go just to tank, so it won't do any damage. Mm-hmm. For example, you know, oh, yes, but uh, you need to have a certain level. You need also to make some damage, otherwise, you are you are just being a punching ball, you know. Yeah. All right. To finish our T1 list, let me go back to the Mephim chest. We said we had Axok, we had Kaldun, we also mm-hmm. included Eowyn, right? Eowyn, Axok. Eldun. Now we need one more T1 commander to finish the list. Do we decide to go with Boromir or Dualin or Haldir? Maybe even Grima? What do you think about that? No. So Grima has no. lost his glorious days. It's all over. Yep. That is unfortunate. Yep. Oh, um, from the people. We did not talk about Camus. Uh, but Camus is nice. T2, right? T2? Yes. He, he, he do nice focus damage, actually. He does. And I also yeah. have him in AT in my tier list, I think. Let me just quickly go over. Yeah. He, do nice he, he focus, does 5k, 5k-ish percentage of focus damage. Which is why I kind of mm. like this guy being a mini Kestaro. Yeah. Yeah, he's like that. He, he, he... He still like mini with you know, but yeah, he has nice damage. Uh, Would you place Kamul 
before or after Exoc? I mean, just looking at the numbers, Exoc deals more physical damage, but that is getting mitigated by defense, while focus damage is just punching through the defense. What, what, what has more value? 6.5k physical damage or 5k focus damage? Mm. Exoc, let me check Exoc. Depend on the level or uh, respect level. Let's say they have both like, the same. Let's say they have both the same respect level. Yeah, if they are high respect, very high respect, Exoc will be better because you have um, three, three skills. Uh, With damage? Three, three, three. You have three, three skills uh, yes, of damage. Yeah. While, while, um, while, well, well, Sorry. Why Camel uh, just have um, two? And the thing is, like, uh, yeah, also the focus damage, poison damage, and so on, they, they get hit hard by the white council. Mm. Harder than the physical damage. Like, you do better with physical damage than elemental damage against white council. Yeah. They can have this. Uh, also the percentage, you know, there is two things. There is people that look at skills, looking the percentage of what is right and of the damage, like, oh, 800, oh, percent, you know. Uh, but we need to consider and that, that's, you know, we don't know unless we do the math. I think there is people that do math and all that. Um, you do the math to, to check the scaling of a skills, you know, like for one focus, uh, the damage of it, in the in the skill himself you know so that that is a breakdown of the scaling of a skill that we don't because sometimes you know uh, i will give you an example thorn has focus damage however uh, you can put in him the same as for others that do elemental damage but the scaling on him in focus is is bad his damage is bad, you know, and you, you can test it. Uh, you can put the same equipment in Thorn and the Witch King, for example, or Sestaro, and Thorn damage will be al always lower mm. than than those guys because the scaling and focus is bad. It's why people are using actually Thorn not for focus. It's not even worth it to put focus on him. It's just initiative, tankiness, whatever, to be a, a yeah. support. Yeah, yeah, commander. That makes sense. You know, um, at first, at first, everyone was playing him, like trying to play him, focus to make focus damage, but it was almost nothing. You know, the scaling on him is bad. That, that's the most important. In the skill, is the scaling, not the numbers that it says, because not all commanders have the same value on scaling for the skill. Yeah. So let, let, let's just quickly finish this wish list. Um, T2, right? T2, we said Lourdes, Shadow, Gandalf the Grey, Frodo. And as a last commander, we were thinking, you just mentioned Kamul. Okay, you have to decide. You either go with Kamul or Falgin, but I think you will say Falgin. Yeah, we'll go with Falgin. Okay, that's the T2 list. Finishing the T1 list, we have Axok, Khaldun, Eowyn. Last one could be Boromir. What else would you say makes sense? Dwalin, Aldir. I don't like Dwalin. I know some people say the, he's okay. The, the, I would say maybe he's okay if you are a, a low spender, like you low have a spender. kind of no choice to play. You, you kind of need to play T1, you know. But if you can play T2, that is just better. Like. Yeah. There is better in everything in T2 than in T1 uh, at the moment. Why play Dwalin yeah. when you can have Gimli, right? Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. If we, if we are talking about R5 Commander T2 in the current game or it, if you have a few seasons and all that, you can have any R5 T2. You focus on them. You do actions. You know, you go in the change thing and you focus on them. Not, not if you are completely free to play, by the way, but yeah. if you have just a minimum spending, you know, I know, season pass and all that. 
Yeah. It should be okay. So uh, Boromir. Yeah. Boromir they they made the game that you want actually. You, know, you can see uh, there is not you want being played. And also, why should we why should we play Dwalin if we already have Axok, who deals much more damage than Dwalin? Yeah. 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 So Boromir, it is. That's T1. T2 is also done. To summarize the T3, we said Gun of the White, Dine, King of Man, Beorn, last but not least, Sauron. And that is the wish list for someone who is thinking about long term meta investment. And then we yeah. select. Don't forget 200. You save 200 mantems. 200 mathems and then do the pull, yeah, for the bonus. Because, because you get the, the thing is, you will get, you know, you will get, uh, you will get that thing, you know, that letter after 200. Mm. Or you wait to find what you have there and you see, for, for you, for example, you have a zero for 200. For now. It's, it's cumulative, you know, it will cumulate. So you can spend what you have now. Mm. The next time this has come, you will be in, uh, for example, let's say, no, today you spend 100 matum. Next time this has come, it will be 100 to 200, so you will just need to spend another 100. And then, on the 200, you will get one letter of the chosen commander. Yeah. And so, I think so and you, I th so we need a tier list for Mephim pulls, like which event is the most worth investing in at some point we can make a different video for that only yeah the decision the decision pack is always the in terms of value you know mm. season pass is the best then it depends uh you you can you can go for this test now that you have just for this one when it when it comes Mm. Um, the ones, the issue I found with Daughters Matum that uh, the, they show you like that commander. Okay, for example, the 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 one we have now is uh, with it. Here I have Isildur. glory days. Yes, Isildur. Isildur. Now you have Isildur. I yeah, think yeah. it's like the thing is like you will get one Isildur item. For eight uh, two pulls, so one pull is easily, one pull is random. Then another one is will be easily. Mm. It depends, you know. It, then it's uh, for you to evaluate. Do you want easily? And then are the other commander there? Commander that you are using or you plan to use invest on it. You yeah. know, if, if not, for example, let's say you just easily on Thorn. Yeah. So you have big chance to end up also with Sarman alone Kirden that you don't want. Mm -hmm. So you don't you don't find this issue when you are investing the 200 pool that you have actually, you know, because maybe because normally you you choose the commander that you want at some point that you want to invest. So even if you don't get more of the easy deal now, like. A, you know, uh, two, two or three respective times less. However, all the others will be useful for you. So, in terms of value, in my that, that, that my point of view, of course, you know, we all are different. Uh, but in my point of view, it's better to invest in that than a specific test. Yeah. Unless in that specific test, let's say you have at least three to four of the commanders that you want to use. So, in terms of percentage, you have more percentage to get respect that you want otherwise the author you you have better chance to be even in the letter part to be something that you actually use you know so yeah. if you get a letter if you get a letter of uh, a commander you are not using you, you get like kind of uh, your investment of the 200 matum will be shitty and you are putting it on the luck so the luck it's a percentage also so if there is just two out of, um, uh, I know, I think it's five. Uh, I don't know. And uh, while you're explaining, 
My undying is uh -huh. finally at the front line, ready to attack. If you guys wanna attack, I can follow up on it. Yeah. Or shall I just, just go? I think we should do a coordinated attack, like asking, "Hey man, I'm ready. Somebody always, wants." Yes, always coordinate. I'm. Did you attack now? No, no. I'm Are just you? saying I'm ready ah. to attack. Yeah, yeah watch something. Like but... To follow up, who wants to go first? And how long does it take me to march? Uh, with guardians, 47 seconds. Okay. And let, let, let me compare that report with the first I've sent to you, the report where I was destroyed. That's my formation level 40. I have fixed this after Francis gave me his advice. We will see about that. And we also need to look once more when I have fell beasts for Witch King. So. I definitely need to have this fight once more with the changes Francis mentioned. But this guy has Zenith level commanders. He also has the full set for Dine. It is Might, and I think Might was the best set for Dine, right? Plus 10% increased physical damage. X of yeah. Khazad Doom, Berserkus Raymond. The thing is, um, I told you, you, you were going full damage. Yeah. So it's normal. You have uh, no mitigation, no defense, no nothing. Yeah. So you are just a punching ball. So the only defense I can have on evil side, what would it be? I have nothing but evil side roleplay commanders. Oglog, yeah. but I don't have Oglog. I never needed Oglog. I was always an RP guy. Thorn, Thorn, Ogluk, yeah, Ogluk, yeah, five. Thorn, because it, it, for evil, okay, for evil player, it's more about equipment and utility skills like uh, car control, madness, turn, thorn. Good side has a lot of mitigation. For us, we have more. Um, more core control in the real side. Yeah. Hey, there's there's but... an interesting question coming up from the viewers. Um, Arsenal is asking, is it good to run Gandalf the White and Gandalf the Grey in the same squad? Like, double white council. Mm. I've never seen it. So uh, maybe there is a reason. Yeah. Yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, I I will not recommend because anyway the thing is they will get cancelled. You know, uh, or oh, I can say you have the mitigation, but the number of times are not cumulative, so they will get right of it the same at the same turn. You know what I mean? So you have a better mitigation, but they get off in, at the same time, and then you get. Like the Gandalf the White, uh, Gandalf the Grey, for example, he will get useless. After that, Gandalf the White, depending on the level you have, he, he will do some focus damage. But it will be just mitigation, mitigation. But if you don't have damage, uh, if you don't have anything behind it, then you have mitigation, mitigation. But you are not hitting hard enough. So when the mitigation is off, the guy will just hit harder. You know, at that point, you know, so it, it's not worth it it's if you look worth, like that. Okay. That's the verdict. Yeah, if, because because they are cumulative. The first round you are taking less damage, yes, but you are also losing value of it. Yeah. First of all, you you you, you lose value because, for example, round one you lose value uh, knowing that there is a cap. There is a cap on the value. So you are investing point in something that is capped, 
mm-hmm. at some point uh, you you, uh, you remember the um, what I can say the units that were taking 90% damage yeah. from physical damage the, uh, there is no 100% you you could try to add them up there is no so it cap there is a cap, uh, there is a, a max capacity so you still get damage you want to have something else after you know after the first few rounds you you want to add something for example if you couple Gandalf the Great with Sauron with whatever you know if you want two support commander things they add something after which is court control whatever if you add court control with the mitigation mm. and so on then it's better you know and Samuel is also confirming what you said. He tried out double white council and it wasn't as good as he thought. So yeah, mm. that's true. Yeah, no, it's not, it's not. Got it. This is the value of it. And the value of eight skills, uh, eight points you use for eight, the skills, if you are using it points that are wasted, you know, considering that points it's... Um, a big value for H point on H skill. There is some skill that the value is bigger than for others. For example, there is something. A Dane level 50, Dane level 50, mm-hmm. then it's sick, then it's sick. Or then it, um, I don't know, 10, 12, that you, you can see of them. The value of the extra then it's level for the investment is you are losing because the skill points after that don't add anything so if you are if you are i then it it's help for the early game but it fall off when you are on it's the late game and everyone is level 50. Mm-hmm. so you are stronger when you are level 20 30 40 but when everyone is at level 50, that investment that you put up on some commanders, because it's not all, but almost all of them at Zenith 6, some of them Zenith 9, is the maximum. After that, it's an investment that, unless you are going, unless you have all commanders Zenith 10, let's say Zenith 9, it's not worth it. It's better to use that investment in other commander. Mm. I see. Because your investment is wasted, kind of wasted. Like, imagine you are watch, you are, you are spending, uh, I think, six six k something like that, six seven k. Okay, to go from Zenit six to Zenit fourteen, fifteen. Mm-hmm. That six seven k you spent on this, the value of this six seven k will be like bringing another commander to to, to Zenith um, with the special pack 6 to 7k uh, almost 7k you, you you bring a commander to Zenith 6 so what will not it be better to have another Zenith 6 commander instead of going quarter with the value of it being so low almost meaningless true you know then then it's either you it's it's more like it's more like if you have a lot of money okay you want to spend and it's just more a bragging content if you brag about you know what i mean you 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 show off that you have a dane 15 for example but it's not worth it gandalf the white for example yes it's worth it there is a few commanders that it's worth it to go to max level uh, that is then it uh, 16. I think it's an fix. Francis, let me share a report with you. I just had my second fight. I was wiped out, but it's against the meta comp again. Beorn, Dine, Gun of the White, Sauron. Yeah. Let me also check the items of the enemy. It's not even full golden gear. Damn, they're so strong. And of the white, also not fully golden gear. 
And Sauron with agility set. He has 36 agility, while mine has 29. So, big difference. Hmm? Ah, you sent me something. Uh, yeah, on, check. yeah, I sent you the last report I had. Okay, I will check it. I, I will need to go uh, in a bit. Maybe I come back later. It's totally yeah, cool, mate. Mm -hmm. I, I'm gonna call it the day yeah. in ten minutes anyway. So, um, I'm almost uh, done with the live stream. Ten solo, forty-one, forty-one. What you have? Okay, you have uh, agility, some speed, some speed, some speed. Uh, okay, with garden. I mean. Yeah, you have the meta comp or white council. White council will always hurt human anyway. Yeah. Like e e even myself, you know. Uh, I, I don't do. Also, you have you have uh, the purple chest, so you are not faster than him for sure. Yeah. Mm. And I still need fell yeah. beasts for my witch king. Uh, yep. Yeah, the thing on using witch king, you know, it's why for I use it. It's for the R five. For the R5, yeah. it can help me, can actually help me outspeed. It can help, not the witching, because the witching is faster, but it, it, it helps the stone that is already PD for me. But uh, it helps because if it lands the mine stand in um, in Gandalf the White or Thorn, if, if the enemies are Thorn and I am faster uh, with my witching, mm -hmm. because it's in pre battle phase, so. What happens is in the pre battle phase, which thing starts usually is faster than everyone else. Maybe not uh, Scalem, I'm not sure, I will need to check. But by nature, you know, by the the, um, the normal stat himself, from the commander, he is one of the fastest in the game. So if you have some initiative also in, in uh, which thing, it's always good. The, he will land the R5 first and then uh, against two. I, I think it's two. Uh, yes, it's two. So there is two enemy commanders. So you have a 50% chance because the enemy has four commanders. You have 50% chance that to land in uh, Gandalf the White, Thorn, or whatever. And you have the so you have 50% chance that they are slower than you, Thorn. It also help you, Thorn, to not be countered. Um, and I can steal Gandalf the White. Skills, current skills. If I am lucky, you know. Yeah, but yeah, that that, but that was my idea too. That's why I want Witch King with R five. I, I need it. The, the, the idea is not to use Witch King just because you have you need to have a purpose on using him. Why you are using him? Otherwise, if you want to go just for focus damage, Haruman is better. Yeah. So you need to have very specific commander that you need to have the gear for them. Like Thorn, for me Thorn and Witch King are at least my wishing they are they have a purpose to have that efficiency yeah to be that okay that's the goal i want to do that what i need to do is that so in my equipment uh, i focus on that you know to yeah. to be speedy faster so and also there is a synergy synergy between the skills which witching is helping my thorn be faster than yeah. enemies can the white and thorn. That's what I would like to try too, you know, because my setup right now could facilitate that. I want my witch king to support my Sauron so that Sauron helps with a CC. And then just Shadow and Undying doing my damage. Until I unlock Lords with this um, mythic level. But that's still a long way. Mm. I mean, yeah. For them, for me, I, I have no problem because they are then it ten nine, you know, whatever. Mm. Uh, yes. So I have all the skills I want. So it, it's not for uh, for me because I add them, you know. Also, so I thought about what I can do to maximize them. If I do, I, if I did not have them, you know, maybe I will go with something else. I, I don't know. It's why it's also always sticky. It's better to do a one-on-one. -on -one, okay, it's a case by case. 
uh, for them to help players, to help people with their equipment. It's not just about, okay, what is the best in slot? You need to go, what is the best you can do with what you have? What you have, you know? what synergy you exactly. can provide. Yeah, that's complicated. Exactly. A second, it's unique because there is a lot of randomness in the Martin chest, in the equipment you have. In the set effect, maybe. Sometimes you have a best in slot in something, but you have something else that could be better because you have the set effect, uh, blah, 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 blah. So you, there is so many, like, things to, that we need to look at that mm. it's not always the best in slot. You, you have the best in slot for the whale, and then you have the best in slot for what you can do in your case. We is most of them the, the the case, you know, uh, every player. So, so for them, for myself, if someone asks me, oh, oh, what is the best ear or what? Uh, one of the first questions is, depend on what you have, you know, what you can do with what you have. You, you will need to show me your account, basically. Yeah, you need to show me what you have so we can work around. You yeah. will need to show me what you have inside your, what you did previously, because maybe there is something we can do from it. Yeah. You know, so there is two ways. There is the way, and it's why more often I won't respond um, in some channels. I think because for me, it will be, I, I will need to go in the details to be efficient, to be efficient with what you have, to maximize. It's, it's all about maximizing what you have. So I can tell you, I, I could tell you, yeah, this is the best from what you are showing me when we are yeah. when we are doing. A question, what is the best? It's a comparison. What is the best between this and this? You know? So if you, if you sure. give yeah. me two, if you show me, if you show me or anyone else two equipments that are different, what is the best between this and this? Okay, it's this. But then we are not taking in account maybe um, the set effects, the level respect, the um, um, what you have, what you have that could be better. You know? So... It's hard, it's kind, and sometimes you will say, okay, it's this one. And then maybe that person actually have the possibility inside his account to do even better, mm. you know, but you don't know because you cannot see it. Yeah. And uh, Francis, before I finish the stream, I have three minutes left. Um, I just wanted to quickly ask about the units in my formation. Right now, as you mm. remember, I have Guardians. Soon, I will replace um, the Guardians on my Witch King with Fell Beasts. Now to, okay. my, now to my question, do you think I should also give my Sauron um, Fell Beasts to make him faster for the plus initiative? Or I lack initiative anyway, so instead I would be much better off with Guardians. Mm, it will happen. Listen, the initiative of your Sauron is Low. The, for the paper, yeah, yes, it's low. If you go with field beast, the thing you need to think about is if you go with field beast, um, it, it kind of you will be faster, but in same time, depending on your level, okay, depending on your level, will you be just giving food to the enemies? You know that that's the question. You know, so if if using field beast, you are still lower than majority of the enemies. Then it's not yeah. even worth it. It's not even worth it. Okay, that, that that's the truth. Because in long wars, okay, in long wars, the the field beast, the flying units are very expensive to maintain. Yeah. So you will be you will need to maintain in two formation. It's costly. Yeah. Um, in, unless you are a big whale, you know you are losing always less than your enemy or or a drawing mm. it's something but if you are using expensive units to die anyway then go with um, the the efficient way we see yeah. yeah. cost Guardians in, in terms of yes co cost efficiency you know gu uh, guardians or riders even riders you know they are and they are food at least but they are there just to do that and they are cheap so you can actually build way more of them like uh, the triple of them you know and the time the time, the cost, uh, if, in terms of cost efficiency, it's way better. Yeah. 
So, All right, yeah, I, I got depending. my answer. Yeah, that, that definitely gives me a picture. I will use Felbeast only on Witch King for the time being to get the R5 benefit and then hmm. go with Guardians until I have better gear, better respect for my commanders and uh, hmm. more methods to unlock even more stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's, hmm. that's the way for now. And uh, oh yeah, I totally forgot to mention to my audience, um, guys, I, I'm not sure if everybody knows, but I have finally managed to partner up with NetEase because they now have given me, um, what was it, like the, the link, the top-up link? So that means mm -hmm. I too can now finally give you the 25% discount when you, whenever you buy gems and when you do so, you also support my channel because I get a small cut of that win. So you get a discount, 25%. I get a small cut of that win and everybody wins. In order to show you where you can access that um, link, that top-up link, it's in each of my videos. Let's say the last one I had was for this evil tier list, the evil side list. Just click Run, on one of my videos, then go to the video description and there you will see the link to the top-up uh, NetEase website. Just clicking this link is already enough to, yeah, get the discount. Just wanted to mention it. Now it is out of the way. Now we can go back to Francis. And yeah, Francis, it was really a big help that you showed up today. You helped me a lot in get being up to speed. You know, I was missing for at least three months. But with you being here and just talking about all the stuff that has happened in the last couple of months it really helped me in order to catch up to you guys thank you again for it and then yeah. i'm gonna go okay but uh, yeah thank you also for your time it was a, a pleasure to be here today let's do this Can again sometime yeah okay okay right. not not too many times it takes a lot of time <laughs> for me but uh, yeah uh, you know, I have a lot of things to do. Of course, <laughs> to do man. you have lots of responsibility. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, Thank yeah, you. thanks again to Francis, and I'll see you around. Yeah. Goodbye, man. Take Bye. care, Francis. Bye bye. All right, guys. I think it's a good time to finish the stream. We have fixed the tier list. This is what we would tackle now if we just started the game and we are thinking about long term playing and long-term investment into Rise to War. So we have our top damage dealers for evil side being Shadow and Lords. We have our CC Kings being the Witch King and Sauron. We have our Elemental Damage Queen, Skullhelm. Then we have at the A tier list um, our Kestaro, who could be higher in, in the tier if you have heavier investment into it. If you have less investment into it, well, actually, then Saruman will be better. But yeah, in the long run, Kestaro should be putting out more damage. So there, there you go, guys. That's it. That's the stream. And I thank you all for being here. I don't take it for granted. It's always nice to have you beautiful people surround me. And with that being said, I see you guys next time.